Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, Mozilla went and did yet another stupid decision. They tend to breed on stupid decisions, whether it's taking political stances or doing things that the only community that likes it, the open source community, tends to disagree with. All sorts of weird crap. Well, in Ubuntu now, Mozilla, this has nothing to do with Ubuntu, Mozilla asks Ubuntu in the 21.10 upcoming and in the 22.04 LTS, put Firefox in as a snap by default. And this just isn't just a snap package. This is the same way that Ubuntu is doing Chromium. If you go to the command line and you do a what you think might be a repository edition of Firefox, it's going to install Snap and the Snap version of Firefox instead. Now, here's why this is a bad idea. The people who still love Mozilla love it because it's open source. These are the very people that do not generally like Snaps. And I'm speaking in generalities, I'm sure. Somebody in the comments can be like, well, I like Firefox and I like Snap. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to a wide range of people who are committed to free and open source because Snap is not free and open source because of the distribution method. Now, they have some reasons for wanting to do this, and we'll go ahead and talk about this, but let's have a look at this as from its FOSS. So, uh, and yeah, I, yeah, thank you. Blah. Anyway, um, what they're doing here now, the feature freeze for the latest upcoming Ubuntu was in, but there was a feature freeze exception that was just passed per Canonical's distribution with Mozilla. We're making the snap the default installation of Firefox on desktop ISO starting with Ubuntu 21.10. means going forward, Firefox will be available as a snap. It also means that if you use apt command to install it, you will still be getting the snap package. The very same thing that Chromium did. This is the very thing that caused the Linux Mint snap snafu where they disabled snap. And this is precisely why Linux Mint disabled snap. This is why I like Linux Mint. They said, look, Chromium's not the only package that's going to come on down through the Ubuntu repositories that tries to install Snap behind the user's back. There will be more. It was Foresight that caused them to block the addition of Snap unless you manually change it in the system to allow it. And I hear the arguments from the people who say, well, do it like Manjaro. There's a toggle button on and off. Well, the reason Linux Mint does not do that is because they have a fundamental disagreement with the distribution method of Snap. Because of that, they're not going to make it an easy toggle option in their distribution, although they do provide documentation for getting it back should a user of the operating system want it. I like that approach, and I like Manjaro's approach as well, where it's a toggle button. You can turn it on or turn it off. That's okay as well. With that being said, um, this is not because Ubuntu is doing this. So don't yell at Ubuntu over this. Yell at Mozilla. They're the ones that have lost their ever-loving minds and are doing this type of stuff over and over. So Mozilla wants Snap, they said. Uh, I think I have that over here. Today, September 16th, 2021, the desktop team has opened a feature freeze exception to replace Firefox Seed and Ubuntu desktop from the dev package to a Mozilla official Firefox Snap. This is the result of a cooperation and collaboration between the desktop and Snap teams at Canonical and Mozilla developers and is the first step towards the dev to Snap transition that will take place during the 2204 development cycle. Yeah, for the people calling me a conspiracy theorist a while back. I know, I do have a tinfoil hat. But I told you they were trying to do this type of stuff. And this is package two. And it will probably snowball from here. So what does it mean? Who would it affect? Anybody that uh, is using 2110 or later uh, into 2204, then it will install the snap version even through the command line. Although they do make it clear you can still download the uh, distro agnostic binaries and just do a manual install. So here are the reasons for change. Number one, cross-platform support. The snap will run on all distributions that run SnapD and now in now and in the future. I don't generally think that 
running Firefox has necessarily been a compatibility issue. They can pretend that this is going to solve a problem that may or may not exist. I cannot think of a software package that runs on more software, excuse me, on more hardware and more instances than Firefox. Um, but authenticity, you are getting Firefox unadulterated straight from the source. This is a fundamental challenge because some people do not want Firefox unadulterated straight from the source because they do weird things like do experiments. They throw weird crap into their browser that a lot of people do not want or like or appreciate. They do not want it coming directly from them immediately. Some people want to wait until bugs are worked out before automatically upgrading to the latest version. And that's actually point three. Effortless updates. Get security updates from Mozilla fast. In other words, as soon as it's released, bugs and all, boom, it's on your system. Wow. Amazing. Thank you, Mozilla. We all have been asking for this nonsense. But these are some of these fundamental points. Mozilla does a lot of weird and questionable things, like look at the DNS over HTTPS. This is so bad, the Homeland Security came out issuing a warning about it, and I still stick by it. It is bad to have that as that easy of a default, because you can use that to get around uh, anything from security blocking, DNS requests on your individual device. You can use it to get around parental controls and things like that, that we need to have and have integrity in our systems when we do. It pushes out things like Pocket, which is going to give you things that it thinks you want to read based on your past experiences. Uh, it's going to give you all of these amazing new thoughts like censoring the Internet, something Mozilla has said they are interested in doing. Fast! I don't want it. Uh, less time on maintenance, more time for features. Community developers can focus on innovation instead of being mired in support. That is a valid uh, concern there is that people don't have to work on it. And this is why Ubuntu is using the snap model and why it's a double-edged sword. It is very good and that the maintainers will spend less time fixing some package bugs that the software developers could, but it's also the double-edged sword where Mozilla could put something really bad, really anti foss in there, and it just shows up on your system and nobody's audited it because Snapcraft is moving towards developing, uh, trusting the developer rather than trusting the code itself, and that in and of itself is a fundamental problem. They say you still have questions. Uh, this is a big change, and we welcome your questions. They don't really welcome their questions. If you look down at the bottom, anybody that's asking questions, like, well, like, shut up, all right? It's like, you look like an Apple forum over here. I mean, can you tell me how to do this? Why would you want to do that? <sighs> would you just tell me how to do it, you moron? All right. Um, but anyway, um, so... Here's the, to start off the questions, here's a few that came to mind. Didn't you do this before? Yes, kind of with a transition to Chromium Snap a few years ago. Um, that was huge and controversial. Um, many people did not like that. Some people didn't care. Some people loved it. Um, but that was all them. This Firefox one is actually, um, it is actually a Mozilla request, not an Ubuntu thing. Isn't it going to be slow? Long answer short, we don't want it to be. That's not an answer to your question. Is it going to be slow? The answer, yes, it's going to be slower because snaps are slower. Long answer, short, we don't want it to be. Is it going to be slow? We don't want it to be. I don't care what you want it to be. I want a million dollars. So want to give me a million dollars? No. Okay, no. It's going to be slow. Okay. Yes, we've read how to solve the Chromium startup problems in a blog post about the speed improvements that come with the newest compression algorithm Snap uses. Building a Snap with newer tool chain and more optimizations will likely result in a faster application, but keep us honest and let us know what speeds you're seeing with the new Snap. So this is what they say. And then other people are saying down here, hey, it's slower. And they're like, well, do you have benchmarks? Let me see the benchmarks. Let me see all this. It's like, dude, we're, you said, you asked us up here. Let us know what speed you're seeing. People are saying it's slow. Well, give us benchmarks. Give us this. You benchmark it. You benchmark it. You wanted our opinion. We gave it to you. I'm sorry if you don't like your opinion. I don't think you want my opinion. I think you want your opinion coming out of my mouth. And I'm not interested in giving you that. Sorry. 
What's the point of putting Firefox on a snap if it uh, if it already uses sandboxing? Having uh, having the application strictly confined is an added security layer. That is a valid point. Putting it inside of uh, basically double sandboxing it. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, that is a a fine thing, and that's something that Snap t- tends to do well. As a transition, do I have to use the Snap? We Mozilla and the desktop team recommend the Snap. Thank you for not answering my questions. But if you'd prefer otherwise, Mozilla still offers their distro agnostic builds for AMD 64 and i8386. So you can actually go ahead and do that. Uh, Test and give us your feedback. Lots of it. Here's my feedback. This sucks. It's stupid. Don't do it. Um, test fresh installs, upgrades of Ubuntu Desktop 21.10. The beta is almost here. When it comes time to test the daily builds, test stock Ubuntu and the flavors, especially flavors that may have to do the changes to accommodate the snap. Let us know where things go wrong or slower, otherwise not at all. But uh, so the time of release of 2204, we have it figured out. It does make sense to put it in 2110 if they want to target it for 2204. Um, but still, it's a bad idea. And you can see a lot of people are, are talking about it and they're responding, well, you know, give us the give us the data, give us the information. Yeah. Um, Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I can't necessarily do that if I don't have, but I don't know, I guess. So anyway, um, there is a lot of discussion. Obviously, some people really like this. Some people really don't like this. But once again, Mozilla's gone out to do it again. They generally like to shoot themselves in the foot. They do controversial, stupid things that a lot of people get mad about. And honestly, the biggest take home for, for me here is that a lot of the people that are still deeply committed to the open source of Mozilla and willing to look beyond the stupid crap that they're doing are the people who are committed to it because it's free and open source and distributing Firefox through a snap package through a proprietary distribution method completely defeats the purpose of utilizing a free and open source browser. These are the concerns and the thoughts that I have. Let me know your concerns and thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.